The purpose of this video is for you to realize that strength and flexibility can be trained at the exact same time. That's the most valuable investment I've put in my body for an NIV, and I've been training partners for 10 years. So we're simply gonna show you the 10 mobility exercises we've done most over the last 10 years. For me, I would define mobility as the marriage of strength and flexibility. It's not just being moved, it's the ability to move or be moved. So mobility, I used to think of as different drills or stretches. That's all valid, but this is the bulk yeah. of how we're mobile. Fernando's gonna start you off with the one we've done the most, the ATG split squat, ATG short for ass to grass, which is why we called the company ATG. And the simplicity of this is that you can start at any level by simply raising your front foot. So when I started, I was here at 16, 18 inches, okay? And as I started to get more flexible, as I adapted to this, I started to lower the weight. I used plates, I'd stack plates or boxes. And then I very quickly started to load with weight, okay? So don't be afraid, like he said, to strengthen while increasing your flexibility, which will give you more mobility, okay? Yeah, it's a very interesting thing when you realize that you can train these at the exact same time. Right. Now you have a variety of levels. That's one of the reasons we're demoing together. Also, for one of us to be training while the other's observing context, there's so many details. We've coached this for thousands of people. The most common starting method would actually be someone grabbing a chair and just holding this position like be able to hold the position. Your legs might be shaking just from holding the position, then be able to move in the position, then be able to move in the position without weight. My mom, I just have her maintain the ability to do this, working her way down to flat ground. Yes. We then go loaded. Right. Roughly how much weight is like your working set? Like, let's see so, it for real. Yeah. I'm, so, cha I'm challenging you to show us a working set for you. What's a working set for you? It's going to be right about here. I'm go flat ground. So this is 50, this is about, about 60, 55 to 60 pounds per hand. Normally I'm doing this after squats. So I'm a little pre fatigued and stuff. That makes sense. As a first set, I could probably do a little more than this actually, but here I like to do this also higher rep. So I'm going to go eight to 12 reps on this. There's no need to go maximum, you know, singles on this. That's a really good point when it comes to this style of training. The right weight, honestly, is the one that feels best. So for some people that might be no weight, for Fernando, it probably feels better as you load some. Like if I don't add any load to this, it's it's okay. But I start adding certain amounts of load, you find the level of stretch and load that actually feels good. It's a very interesting style of training. It's not sport-based where it's like, oh, I did more. It's This is to serve your body. Wow, people messed up the 18s and the 20s. <laughs> Um, so you, yeah, you can show, I'll show how you a live set. Them. Yeah. Your rear foot elevates. So he's, I elevate the back flexible. foot about six inches and I use 25% of my weight per hand. That's like, this is what I've found that I can maintain. This gives me the leg strength to be able to dunk a basketball among other exercises, as you'll see in this video. And it gives me unique flexibility and unique knee protection. So I got into this because I just wanted knees that could handle basketball. So eight reps, really embracing that stretch. And I wanna say, no one kind of keeps his chest high and back, okay? So the intention is knee forward, chest high, stretching the back leg. Yeah, so that's, that's a We spent a one. good while on this one because this is, this is really bread and butter for us. But we'll get you right into the next one and we'll keep flowing. Realize too that for every exercise you might see in an overview video like this, I have individual videos. So you could watch an individual split squat video right here on my YouTube channel. I save all these videos in playlists to make it easy to find. Now here, I'm stretching into the inner thighs and no rounding. I found over the years that I can use dumbbells and get a really good stretch Notice too with my lower back that I'm getting good time under tension. So to me, this is an amazing foundational lower back movement. Normally with deadlifts, people are deadlifting the bar off and then it like crashes down and that's fine. But to me, this is more fundamental 
So this can help the deadlift. Correct. You could use any of these movements in this video, whether you're a power lifter or an Olympic weightlifter or a basketball player yeah. or a grandma. So again, you want to find a weight. So for me, like that wouldn't be quite enough weight. Well, so for me, that wouldn't be enough weight either. And so Fernando's that's gonna where, show us with the bar. That's where a barbell comes into play. Um, it's easier to load more, okay? So if you're a, a big guy, say you're an offensive lineman and you know you need more weight to get you into that stretch, or once you've you know mastered the dumbbells that you can start to load, put even plates on this. And if you're starting, I also love this version here with the barbell because it sets a safety limit for you here, okay? So you go to your chest touches and come back up. And another Such an important tip. Yeah. And it measures your flexibility progress. Correct. Anything you see in this video, if you're going to do it, it should feel good. Let's lower this a couple for me. Yeah. And another form tip I want to say is the biggest mistake I see in this, even in the ATG community, is that the knees fall in when yep. they go down. They do this. That would be avoiding the stretch. Correct. So the key, guys, is keep that knee over the ankle straight and pin out actually use the glutes and stretch the inside yep okay we make our money from form coaching so fernando and i ran a gym way before i went online way before there was knees over toes guy absolutely hated social media <laughs> eventually it was like what we were doing was so unique in the gym people were like everyone needs to know this and thanks to you and youtube it's so amazing we literally get to share everything we know our service is 50 dollars a month to coach your form and answer your questions with no long-term contract. I mean, if you want to try doing that for 50 months, yeah. it takes a lot of work, a lot of organization. There's no, there's no like shortcut system here, but it's beautiful because we don't want to have to hold back, play tricky marketing games. We don't have to spend any of your money on advertising. Fernando's flowing into the next exercise. But again, I want to challenge. I want to see a real set here okay, and so I'll do one as well. So I'll just show. So basically the form, like the good morning, the low back, you stay with time under tension. You keep it stiff. When, once you start to see the real load I'm doing here, you'll know why we don't want to round, okay? Because you're just putting yourself in a precarious position. But this is one of the best exercises I used to help stretch and strengthen the hamstring. Ben is showing a pretty real set here. This is about 130 pounds plus with dumbbells, knees are just barely bent and locked. So he's getting a maximal stretch here in the hamstring. My intention is stretch, but I'm getting a strength effect out of it. Fernando's gonna show you with the bar. It's like for my mom, she sure. could do bar, but the she just, one. She just does dumbbells on these exercises that we're showing you. It was really interesting. We were doing this. I mean, I just wanted to stop being hurt and enjoy my sport. Yeah. Like it just so happens that this marriage of the strength, the flexibility was the best thing I found to protect my body. But I think this concept of strength and flexibility and harmony, I do think that is like a breakthrough for longevity training. This is a big subject now, people realizing that strength training and exercise can help our quality of life for longer. Well, my mom is not doing 300 plus pounds with a hamstring stretch. Now for Fernando, he could look way more impressive doing a regular deadlift. And guess what? A regular deadlift is fine. We believe in your freedom of movement. The ATG system is not a sport. The ATG system is to help you enjoy whatever else you like to, in, to do in life. But yes, this is something that could help no matter what your sport is. He's getting strength flexibility at the same time. And as a reality point, yes, I use straps when I'm going heavy, heavy loads because I'm not trying with this exercise to strengthen my grip. I'm trying to challenge my legs, which are a lot bigger than these will ever be. So don't be afraid to use the occasional strap there. Now, one thing I find really interesting over time, I'll take oh, those, yep. is like, what weights do I have to maintain to maintain my goals? I have 
two kids now, and I try to be a super dad, and I try to be a super business owner, and that takes a lot of time. So I train twice a week, full body, and on the weekends we get to play basketball. That's mm -hmm. my personal fun. And over time, especially this year, now that I've been doing this for so long, I'm going to be showing you the exact weights I use. Yep. So like on the app, you can see the weights that I maintain. For me, as long as I'm getting up over my body weight and load, yep. getting that, that, that stretch on the hamstring, and then going until I have some fatigue in those hamstrings and lower back muscles, this is enough to maintain my goals. Yep. That doesn't mean everyone's goals are going to be the same. Fernando's weights are going to be different. So this is one reason that on the app we try to have different options. But I still think it's better for you to have some context than to just have no context at all. Of what's required, right. And notice how he shoots his hip back, weight goes onto the heel, okay? That's what allows him to get that maximum stretch while keeping the low back. Yep. Flat. Beautiful. For both Fernando and I, we're just injured all the time, wanted to be able to play our sports. We were not expecting this, so we're on our third exercise, that ATG split squat, strength, flexibility. The one we were just doing, strength, flexibility. I was not expecting to be able to do a, a front split. Neither was Fernando. Not bad. This is pretty darn good for the fact that we don't spend much time on flexibility, but that's how we strength train. Right. So again, for longevity of the body, if you would have told me I'd be in my 30s, I raced my 20s not even close to dunking. Gave up on that, trying to figure out how do I blow up with my knees. This style happened to work really well. One day on the court, I remember it being like, wow, basketball's not hurting my knees anymore. <laughs> a friend was like, oh, you could dunk. Like, what are you talking about? There's no, like, yeah. when you go your life as a basketball player and you can't dunk, that's it. No, no, no. In my 30s, to be able to dunk 10 years without a knee setback wasn't from magic exercises, as you can see. It's actually from progressively doing these. Been working on these exercises for 10 years. Yeah. So for me, that's valuable results. Fernando likes to carry even more muscle mass and be able to dunk and play sports. Yeah, I couldn't dunk till I was 25 with yep. you out there on the on the low rim, the first first one ever, and it took me. I didn't really use new exercises. No, I've been weight training since I was 15 years old. It was mainly the fact of how I'm doing the exercise, what intent I'm using with those exercises. So RDLs, you can do halfway range and try to load up, but then I'm not getting any mobility out of there. So when I go on the court, I'm like this. Now with the new ATG form coaching, if you will, that proper intent, getting the maximum out of it. Now all of a sudden, I can really use my hips, pop more, and then I found myself dunking. Same thing with squats. I used to squat like this. Now I go all the way down. Now my knees hurt less, and I can use more of the power that I'm putting into that ground. So another... this has been key context for us, key realization over the years. I'll give you a, yeah, give me... a heavy dumbbell to, yeah. to hold. <laughs> if we compare to the last exercise where we're really making sure to not round the back. We're keeping the knees unlocked. Now the knees are straight and we're actually allowing ourselves to go all the way down. Back extension is a very safe way to train this position. So for my back, and we've seen for a lot of other people now, this context of ability to resist rounding, but also ability to round, man, give me those two together. I never have to worry about my lower back, but I wouldn't feel comfortable if I only so if I only did this or only did the Romanian deadlift, my back doesn't feel the same Incomplete. way. I need, I need the two of them. Because in sport, we don't jump with a perfect flat back, right? You're going to be rounded. I do it like this. Yeah. I actually crank this one up one more nice. so I can get a little bit more stretch. Yeah. And then I intentionally, I'm embracing that position. Yeah. But see, I could hang here forever. So it's a very safe place this to be. This is deloading the spine, actually. Now, notice what happens to my back as I come up. Now is where the weight really starts to get heavy, but I'm in a much safer position. Mm -hmm. And so even if I went, if I go to failure, at some point I just won't get up. Right. So this is a very safe way 
look at my lower back muscles now. So I actually consider this like mobility for the lower back muscles. I'm rounding at the bottom, squeezing my glutes. Yeah, tremendous glute exercise, by the way, as well. Especially if you put the intent on squeezing the glutes when you come right, up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. The whole time, you squeeze. Flexibility. This is phenomenal. Glute, low back, very safe. This is a huge staple. I've been doing this since I was a young kid. Yep. Same with my brother. Like, one of my strongest points is my low back. And it's only because of the hard work I've done on this. So, oh, we got a perfect teaching point right there here. There we go. Mr. Infinity's in the gym. Derek's, Derek's 46. Derek is our longevity. No, no, this is it. Derek's our longevity role model. So he's been training the same way we have. It doesn't matter that he's a decade older than us. We've had the same type of results. Getting bouncier, less injuries. Now, if you see what Derek's doing, my bread and butter has been, you've seen me training from my yard for a long time, has been a standing pancake. Notice how the wider my feet go, the stronger my groin has to be. This is not really the goal on this one. I want you actually being strong enough. So you see Derek has, this is money right here. He's got the weight, but not everyone has cable access. Correct. So it's actually cable or standing are the two that I use. So the goal is to do a level that you're strong enough to come back up. You get a little measurement over time, touching the elbows to the ground. So again, one of the standards I maintain is that I'm strong enough to go head to ground strong and flexible at the same time. Absolutely love that one. Very impressive. And we spent a long time on the, the bread and butter, so we'll keep flying through. But this is such a great one. No equipment needed. You can get your groin stronger and more flexible. You think you can do that one? You think you can do this? You want to try it? <laughs> she does jujitsu, so hopefully I don't nice. piss her off. I've seen her. <laughs> I've seen her throw some dudes around. Ready? <laughs> try to stand wide. Here, turn this way so your your feet have space. Okay, stand, stand wide. Can you touch the ground with your hands? And then come back up. Touch the ground with your elbows. Oh, don't bend your leg. There you go. Good. So. Come back up. Okay, so go a little closer, a little closer, a little closer. Okay, now go there. Now keep your legs straight. There you go. And now go up and down. There you go. And then come back up. Not too wide. Go back in, back in, back in. Yeah, just hold, find a level that you're comfortable. Good, now stay right there. Don't move your feet. And then go down and up. Stretch down and come back up. Stretch. That's it, but don't bend the knee. There you go. There you go. Good job. <laughs> this is Forrest's daughter, our cameraman right there. Good job. I think that might be a good one for jujitsu. What do you think? I think, is, I think it'll be pretty good for jujitsu. Thank you. Oh, wow. Good manners. <laughs> When's that parenting course coming out? <laughs> if my kids grow up like that, I'll be happy. She was working hard doing the sled. But yeah, slow and slow and steady when it comes to strength and flexibility at the same time think of this like a long-term investment if you work at the level of strength you can't really handle or the level of flexibility you can't really handle it doesn't seem to produce the same adaptation we're looking for fernando's doing the next one you can see the difference in how we do it here i want to and i want to i want to say a context this is these single leg movements are very very important because the fact that you will find significant imbalances we don't have to be perfectly balanced but why not chase fixing that? And, and you'll find that a lot of times when you have a hip issue or a low back issue, it's just because one side is so tight and you're getting into twists and stuff. So I want to show you that this side, I can have perfect form, go up and down, okay? Which is what Ben likes to do there. And then this side, I can't even really get into that position. So this is He's great. He's a quarterback. Yeah. So you have to think this hip so is going to be turning more. I think of it like this. I think of it, for example, you can't see it, but... I have a, a plate in my left mm -hmm. kneecap. Um, this was all before my knees over toast days. This is what got me into this stuff. So you, you wouldn't guess it watching a video, but my left knee still does not bend as far as my right. But I've trained both of those to exceptional levels of ability. Mm -hmm. The average person cannot control full range of motion, strength, and flexibility. So my internal mm -hmm. deviation 
is not symptomatic for me. Correct. Has no symptoms. But before ATG, when this was stiff, doctors told me, yeah, this left side will never fully bend. Like what I'm doing right now wasn't supposed to happen for my left side. So yes, Fernando has imbalances. I'm sure we all do somewhere. Yes. And that's okay. Get enough ability that it's not a problem. Correct. And that's, that's the key is like, don't fear it. I have Find people, it. I have a lot of clients that's like, oh, well, you know, this side's shorter. This is, yep. I can't act it. Great. We're going to train so much ability that it overcomes yep. the inabilities. Okay. Yep. Or the, 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 the problems. And my, the my only note on that last one, uh, this knee doesn't have any surgeries, but had different tears mm. that I was told I needed surgery for. And my knee would actually like pop out of place. There's a really freaky thing. So many of you have reached out and told me, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the same condition. So like I wrote up a, a free article on it because so many people are not aware their knee pops out. It like pops back in. It's so scary. And it's often in positions mm -hmm. where the leg turns like that. And so that's why I gravitated to this stretch because rather than just pushing here, having the knee to press against something and then not just stretching, but when I'm here, I'm now thinking with these outer hip muscles. So I'm like actually trying to push into the ground to lift myself. So you could start here with two hands. You're stretching, but I'm trying to add a little strength to it. Yeah, that glue over activation. Time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, over time, that loosened this up way more. Yeah. I've been lucky enough that I no longer have issues with this knee popping out. I would also add, if you've had that issue, watch the flossing video. It's all here. My YouTube should be like a public library that you could use forever to know everything I know about training. Derek's actually a showing a similar age. version. Mm. He's inclining the bench. So there's actually less stress on the outside of the knee. So I don't believe in doing this with a flat bench because you can still get a stretch more safely with an inclined bench. Mm. And I go even as far as I don't even do this version actually, because for people with this condition, I found the safest is just on the floor okay. because there's too much ego than people try to go lower. Mm. So cool. yeah, his, his knee is pressed right now rather than just stretching like that. Yeah, exactly. Strength Where's and flexibility point? at the same time. Fernando will get into the couch stretch, where again, this is a stretch. As you can see, as this video is gone, we're getting into some more nooks and crannies, but the intention is the same, yeah. is to be strong from these positions of flexibility. Yeah, and so a couple of form points. The further back the knee, the more the stretch is going to be on the quad, okay? so. That's when what I'm doing here. Yeah, so he's got his knee all the way back, and he's leaning back. That's the ultimate quad stretch there. Then there's a variation where you can drop, and you also want to squeeze your glute. That's a very important factor. Is yep. Again, same thing with the pigeon stretch. It's like to have some muscle activation in these positions. Well, so, and if we're stretching here, yeah. this is the opposite. This increases the stretch here. Correct. And then I have, even have my intention. I'm actually pushing, pushing into in. the mat. So I'm only stretching as far as I feel strong. I'm not training my flexibility past a zone that I feel strong and, right. and pain-free, but now keep showing the progression. Yeah, and like, then from here, which you're gonna train the more of the mid lower quad area down here, you then want to drop that hip down like an escalator to the floor. Again, squeeze the glute, press the knee into the ground, Yep. On and off, six to 10 seconds, pressing, and then relax for six to 10 seconds, just like that. And you can see how this stretch with that activating on and off is mimicking a split squat. So these two are going to complement each other very well. And this is what we did when we started to access deeper ranges of motion. We yep. did use these pigeon stretches and couch stretches. And I still do to this day. And so this is one I work on, the couch stretch, yep. while also working the ATG split squat. I think with the modern body spending so much time like this, mm -hmm. man, if there's a powerful one, two to, to reverse the effects of too much modern sitting, the couch stretch and the ATG split squat. And then I would throw right into that because we're sitting like this in nature, we'd be sitting more like this. Mm -hmm. So we also don't get the inner thigh stretch. You want to throw a third one in, man, if you're doing ATG split squat, couch stretch, and that seated Good morning, all stretch strength stuff. And even that this, pancake, good morning, yeah. uh, pancake, that's amazing. People often ask about the, the squat mobility. Yeah. It's not just the ATG split squat, yeah. it's also the inner thighs of this one. Yeah. So I now don't have to worry about how oh, the effects of sitting, 
I try to live like a normal person. I sit like a normal person. <laughs> I don't take any supplements. I want to live life like a normal person, but I want my two workouts a week to be so powerful that I don't have the modern problems. And that's a great context point there because I don't, I want to be kind of a freak. <laughs> so I take supplements, but also yep. I train in a way. But he, like, Fernando the, carries about 20 pounds more muscle. He eats more calories. Yeah. He does more sets in the weight. He does yeah. more gains, more. He signals to his body more. We do the same motions. Right. Same motions, just a little bit different intent and a little bit different lifestyle. Um, so depending on what you need to. So, of course, I'm going to have to use more weight per pound to be as athletic as Ben or try to chase how high he jumps. Um, but then on top of that, it's like I want more muscle mass for how I look or for football or for contact sports. Yeah, he, he came from a football background. He doesn't want that. I came from a basketball background. Yeah. The gratitude I have just to be able to play basketball and dunk, forget yeah. about it. Like I'm done. Let me raise my kids, run my business. So yeah. I get a lot of hate actually on social media for not being jacked. <laughs> Why? I'm, I'm, yeah, ATG is we're working for your goals that's right this is your goal that's right. not what we're saying your goal is so that's why i try to show these videos too with different bodies so you can see it's this is not a one size fits all you can use this for a variety of goals last thing on this couch stretch because i have clients that actually cannot even get into this position is raise your knee use a pad you can even double up this pad wow. so even just starting this is where i have a current client right now who has really bad knee pain i just have him start like that and just start yeah. getting leaning back and activating those muscles. So again, it regresses for anyone. I have the same tip, tip, which is just because of working with so many people with knee problems, more padding. Yes. Cool enough, your couch at home mm -hmm. is kind of perfect. We have B-roll of my mom doing this at home. Like you take your couch cushion, put on the ground, you now have a really thick mat. So this is something we made for the gym. It's like, man, if I travel, I walk into a gym, you can count like $100,000 in machines and you have like a paper thin yoga mat in the corner. <laughs> and we wonder why we're stiffening i mean you tend to get what you put your energy on so all the machines in the gym great let's just give some love to mobility too so that's why we have if you walk in atg it's a bit different we have mobility boxes but yet we do still have machines now we can quickly round out these last three the last three are actually all for the ankle the ankle the lower leg is often missed when we think of flexibility strength this really rounds it out you take these 10 you're looking this is the bulk of what we've done over the last 10 years these last three finish so, the job. Yeah, real quickly. Basically, we all know, or it's not that complicated, the standing calf stretch, okay? So, but the key to this is, again, we don't just do the stretch. You can, this is the valid stretch. If you're on the road, if you got a little step, staircase, you can stretch it. But actually strengthening now with that full range of motion is what ties it all together. Yep. That's what we're, if you get anything, it's this style, if you get or, anything from this video, it's yeah. that we're also strengthening in these deep ranges. Okay. Yep. You can do it as Fernando's doing it, or you yep. can actually do it from a slam board itself. Yep. So you can be stretching. So I'm stretching into the slam board and I'm raising up and then, and then the seated calf is another one. So if you have yep. a seated calf machine, well, let's go to the seated calf machine okay. in a second. In a, in oh. a workout, we would do like a standing calf raise like that. And then we would do the opposite side. Yeah. This is often a big missing link when people try to get lower body mobility. They'll run into like the front ankle pinching. Yeah. But imagine, okay, my knees probably got 50% stronger. What if my ankles didn't get 50% stronger too? So we believe in, in this concept so much that if we're going to make the knees stronger, the hips stronger, well, we better make the ankles stronger can't too. You can't absorb yeah. it if you don't. Another thing... <laughs> Boy, the amount of Instagram hater posts on me doing tibia alpha raises. Now look, anything can be taken out of context. You can see the context in this video. This is one of 10 main lower body exercises we do. This exercise in itself is not magical. Actually, what's magical is just training your strength and your flexibility for all the different joints in a balanced manner. Like just addressing your body in a balanced manner, it's like, whoa, the human body's natural abilities are way better than expected that's right without this with no knees over toes i personally wouldn't have experienced dunking playing basketball i'd probably be on my oh, fifth or sixth knee surgery by nice now. shot and there's no way i'd be squatting 405 yeah. past the grass with no pain going to the seat of calf yeah so after those two good we'll finish out this video for you and this I'll was get... this was the my favorite one what i used to get into my deep squat this is a 
at home body weight version if you do not have this machine you simply bend your knee and you can really jam it and get a really good stretch here on the achilles if you have the machine pause two three four five seconds even every rep really letting the ankle drop then squeeze yep Gyms typically have seated calf machines. I've never seen like a major gym that didn't yeah. have one. Yeah. Realize that what I'm showing here, my knee wouldn't have been able to handle this position. So this was actually in the knee family of exercises for me. You can control how much your knees do go over your toes. Yep. You're then holding that position and you have progression from two legs to one leg. So this is another one of these examples of, I can't, I'm playing the same game with completely different knees by slowly causing adaptation to be able to handle those positions. So the fact that I can be in that position now, handle my weight at the knee and below the knee, this makes me more protected than if I was weaker here than if my knee was weaker. Right. It's no guarantee. This video is no guarantee. We're all gonna die, sorry. <laughs> I mean, but we could make life so much better. Life for me, it really being on painkillers, getting surgery, I was depressed. Yeah. I mean, that that knocked me out. I wasn't. The person I am today, I, was, I wasn't I was the same in my relationship with my wife. We've been together over almost 14 years. Nice. I'm so much better as a partner when I'm in a happy frame of mind. Cool. Now look, we all go through our stuff and we have to grin and bear it and be good people no matter what. But it's just easier now. I'm so much more present yes. for my wife, for my kids, because I'm not worried about my own problems. I'm not having to go to doctor's visits. I'm not hiding painkillers in my car. It's just like, Life is hard enough without the body giving us all kinds of problems. There's so many problems the body can give us. Sure. You get sick, you get this or that. So for us, it's just pretty cool that the way that we exercise, like we're sweating. I'll do another round of this. I'll be smoked. Yeah. The way that I exercise a couple of times a week completely changed my life. That's cool. I'll keep teaching this forever. Yeah. We'll keep working as hard as we can on the app for you so that you can be anywhere as almost, you know, as close as we can get to you being in the gym, training with us, getting form coaching. Finish us out, Fern. Great okay, work, man. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, so like he said, as an athlete, if you can't perform, if your attention's on your body, you're not going to play well. You're going to be thinking about your body. Oh, I can't make this cut. I can't do this movement because of pain. So it ties feeling better as an athlete on the field or court ties into also feeling better in life. If you do not have pain when you get up out of bed, you're going to be a happier person. So whether it's for sport or for life, these are the 10 movements for our lower body that we have mastered and continue to work on and will work on for the next 10 years. And I hope this video helps you feel better, perform better. We'll see you next time.